Hello, welcome to Philly Philly. I think um, you forgot to get dressed up for the occasion tonight. I was um, at the gym and... Oh, so now he wants to make us all feel bad if we if we haven't worked out. No, it's not. I was late, <laughs> so I didn't have time to take a shower. So it's yes. it's probably better smelling where you are than it is here. Yes, absolutely. I concur. So welcome to Philly Philly. Um, as you know, tonight I've got a really cool recipe um, to share with you all. One that I haven't tried yet, but I can tell by the ingredients it's going to be really good. And I have to say that I was really disappointed in this one's reaction when I was telling him about what we were gonna be making tonight. And by the way, if you are joining us, please, if you feel up to it, say hello in the chat. We do like to um, to know who's joining us if you're feeling so, um, inclined. so inclined. So feel, feel free whenever you jump in to say hello in the chat. We appreciate you coming um, to see us this evening. And if you're watching this on a video, we're glad you're checking out this cocktail. Hopefully we'll have a good review about it when we're done. Looks interesting. I know. So these, there's so many things here I like, but let's first talk about why you're not going to have one of the cocktails. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know if there's really a good reason. I just, oh. I just decided I didn't want to use all of this. You didn't have much, so I didn't want to use all of that's, it. That's yeah. Cause there is definitely two servings at least here for it. I, Can we well, go back to the conversation? I should have recorded the conversation we had the other day. Uh, so do you remember the conversation we had the other day? I think I was lamenting that there wasn't vodka in the drink also. If I recall, what Hub said was when I told him the ingredients, which in, um, in fact, I'll go over because there is a little bit of a process to this. There's a little planning, but I really am excited because I think it's going to really build flavors and layers of flavors. And I think it's going to be a good result. But the actual ingredients you need are grapes, lemon, rosemary, sugar, and prosecco and water. And I believe Those are grapes. your reaction. I thought that was bacon. <laughs> We're making a bacon drink tonight. Don't listen to him. But I think your reaction when I told you about the ingredients, you said, Well, what's the liquor going in there? And I said, There's no liquor. It's sparkling wine. Like that is the base of the drink because it is a, um, a sparkling wine cocktail. That's what it sounds like. Yes. And he, he was a little forlorn about it. And so then he said, I think I'm having bourbon. And I will, I will say I can't complain because there have been many bourbon drinks that I don't partake in. I always will have a taste and I'll offer you a taste if you're, yes. if you're kind. I will. Thank um, you. But I... So I so he's gonna have his bourbon. So what bourbon I, are you drinking? I tonight? probably would have had one if I knew that there was bacon in the drink. There's not bacon in the drink. So, so what, this what? is um, this was given to me as a gift by um, somebody I work with. It's Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. So it's um, you know it's it's awesome. It's bourbon. And, and so and the one thing about it, yeah, it's bourbony, but um, it's so like it's. Like dark. darker. It's dark. You know? it looks, it's been in it's been in the ice cube for a couple minutes. It looks so. almost like um, maple syrup. It does. But it it's, does not it's taste so like good. Syrup. It's so smooth, and I just I really really enjoy it. Oh, good. So. And that's just a sipping one, right? That's not one you would. Well, yeah, really I don't. Use. Yeah. This is I just. You can, I guess you could do different things with it, but I typically just sip this. Gotcha. So, well, if you, if you are just joining us the first time and you enjoy this content, please make sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. We have cocktails during the week. We cook on the weekends and sometimes during the week, and we'll talk about this coming up, um, we do reviews. And then next month, we're actually throwing in some other things. But uh, if you don't want to miss anything, also follow me on Twitter which is Philly Philly Live, because I post when I'm streaming, I post um, information about upcoming streams, I post my schedules, like it's kind of an all the in the know thing if you are interested in in watching um, this wonderful content on a Wednesday night, a hump day, right? Hump day. Hump day, and we have music today. Yeah, so how'd that work? Shh, we shouldn't say anything, because maybe the music doesn't realize we've had such trouble. But why did it work? this time and I don't the, know not the other times I don't know it didn't make the computer go crazy the laptop go crazy oh, so it's working so we're just not gonna and we're just not gonna talk about I don't it. even know if it's up high enough. let me turn it up just a little higher because it's high enough I'm gonna turn it a little higher you're just gonna make up for it yeah you're gonna, you're gonna probably oh shush that worked okay so 
This cocktail does involve some prep, um, but nothing hard. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make um, a simple syrup. And simple syrups are equal parts sugar and water. Sure. And then when you put that together and bring it up, really you're just bringing it up to a boil. It doesn't have to be even in a boil. Once the sugar and the water dissolves, you're done and you can take it off the heat. Just looks like water. Right. That works. Yeah, you just don't you want all the sugar dissolved. Yep. But you put in there, see that green stuff? Rosemary. So when you put it in when it's on the stove top dissolving. Still hot. Uh, well, when it's dissolving. Yeah, you put two in there. And huh. so that's imparting some rosemary. So there's a rosemary simple syrup that we're going to be using. In fact, I'm going to just open that up so it'll be ready to go. Can I smell that? Sure. It smells like rosemary. I would think so. And I love rosemary. Wow. And this, you that's know, not, tomorrow not. is fall. Like tomorrow is the first day of fall. I so tomorrow at nine o'clock at night. Yeah. Right? So like when I saw this drink, I thought this was a great drink to kind of kick off fall, which begins tomorrow at nine o'clock apparently. Um, something. something like that. And so this just kind of, you know, you're not diving into winter. You're just getting a little, kicking up with a little fall. So first you make your rosemary simple syrup. Then you're going to take some grapes um, in the recipe. And I put the link below for the recipe. It was actually from CA Grown, which is California Grown blog. And I found this recipe and it just looked delightful. So I wanted to try it. You will roast some um, grapes with a little olive oil and rosemary. And I'll show you what that looks like. Tell me it doesn't look like bacon. It doesn't look like bacon. It looks like bacon. <laughs> doesn't smell like bacon. And I tasted one of these, these grapes and they're very good. And so that's the next thing you need. And then you are going to need a little extra rosemary to pop in your glass, and you're going to need a nice lemon wedge. And lastly, you need sparkling wine. So you could use Prosecco, you could use, um, you know, Asti, you could use Champagne, you know, really, whichever you want. So, and I forgot the one thing. So I'm going to tell you, I read the directions, I saw the video. There's a video there too. I'm going to grab a muddler um, for a reason. And. Oh, so sorry. And what I noticed is I that like there were, like, I think in the video they showed one measurement and then on their website, the link, they showed another measurement. And the other measurement made like quite a bigger drink. Um, so I'm making the smaller version, which is what I think they showed on the video. Uh, and one of the things you're gonna do is you're gonna do a little muddling. So you could put this in a, um, whatever this called, highball, that, no, right. it's not hot. It's a right. Collins right. glass or, yeah. I, don't I don't know, like a shorty glass like this. You could put it in a stemless wine glass. I'm gonna put it in a wine glass. I'm just gonna be super careful about the muddling so that I make sure that um, I don't hurt the glass, right? So the very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put four or five grapes at the bottom of your glass. Do not put the rosemary that's in here. We're gonna be putting some fresh rosemary as a garnish after. So I got five there. Okay, this one. Oh, sure. I'm going to need a spoon, so just put that on there. There you go. And you're going to, now they were showing muddling with a lemon. Since I'm in a wine glass, I'm going to be careful. So I'm just going to gently That's muddle good. these a little bit just to release some juices. I'm not going to, <laughs> it doesn't taste like bacon. So um, just to release some of the juices. Then you're going to take your lemon wedge and you're going to squeeze that. Oh, and when I was opening the champagne, fun fact, um, I got one of the pieces of foil under my thumb. Um, you know when it cuts underneath your nail and now I squeezed lemon juice and it <laughs> smarted, pardon. So, so I'm sorry, I missed, how did you, how did you do the, the grapes? What do, what do you do? I put them in and I just gently muddled them. Which no, no, just, no, no. But how'd you cook the grapes? Oh, it was olive oil um, and some rosemary and you just roast it. It's the, the so instructions. Ro roasted in the... I love it. I use the air fryer because that's like my new obsession now and it's quicker, uses less heat, all that. So I did mine in the air fryer. I adjusted the temperatures accordingly. As you know, anyone that uses an air fryer, you have to adjust the temperatures, make them a little lower. It takes a little less time. Yep. But I did these in the air fryer. I bought this lovely little pan that fits in our air fryer so it was perfect for that yep. um, and I put some um, what's that called the uh, parchment paper underneath so he's ready to get out so I muddled my grapes I put my lemon then you're gonna take and you squeeze the lemon I did I did then you're gonna take one ounce 
of your, your simple syrup. There we go. And what I'm wondering, because I've had these drinks that use simple syrup with Prosecco or Champagne or Asti, and, and Asti does tend to be sweet. Like, I wouldn't yeah. suggest an Asti with this. But some Proseccos are drier, and Champagne, of course, generally can be drier. Yeah. Is I feel like this, I'm going to do the college try. I'm going to do the, what the recipe recommended the you first time. But I'm wondering, sugar. yeah, I'm wondering if I want to use less sugar next time. But I'm just wondering, right? We'll see. So we have the grapes, the lemon, uh, but there is some lemon juice. So that's yeah. going to give a little um, acidic. Ac acidic. Acidity, right? Acidity, yeah. yeah. It's acidic. It's acidic. So I'm going to pour the simple syrup. I'm going to put my ice in there. Fill that up. And then I'm just going to top it off. Oh my. Let me do it. It's smarting. No, 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 no. I'm good. Yeah. It's my thumb that like is, has lemon juice still underneath that nail. I think I'm wounded. Oh, let me take that off. I'm a little wounded. And I'll put my garnish in last. So then you can see my glass. I'm just going to top it off with the oh, sparkling wine. I might need to do two pours so I don't have it runneth over. I mean, it's going to be pretty. It is going to be, know, yeah. For sure. And even if you put it in a wineless, a wineless, a wineless stem glass, even if you put it in a stemless wine glass, that would be pretty, and frankly, be pretty in this one too. And I'm going to give it a little stir. It doesn't say you have to give it a little stir, I don't think, but I'm going to. It's not as pretty now. Mr. Stir is now all of a sudden thinking, like, let's not stir. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm going to pull a garnish. Now, this one's a little big, so I think I'm going to trim it. Will you get me? What oh, I got the scissors. Never mind. I'm all set. I'm going to make this just a little smaller and that's all she wrote put a branch of a tree in there put a branch of a tree in there so you see so there you go all pretty it is pretty that's the first thing i look for in a drink is that it's pretty it's pretty and you know what i need to do when it's pretty you need to drink it no i need to take a picture of it of course you do do you have can i use your camera because you know my camera is filming right now oh okay and actually, you know what? I'll do it right here. Do you want me to? So I won't, nope. So I won't go far. You don't. You don't trust my uh, photography don't. skills. I don't. <laughs> so. Probably, you're a smart woman. I know. I've learned through the years, babe. <laughs> there we you go. know, there is enough for another drink. I could have had one. You could have, could have, would have, would have, could have, should have. Or, that goes? or you can have two. So, which, if you like it. That's what I was thinking. I was no, thinking that, that this is kind of a smallish drink. I might want to. Okay, so I'm going to smell. It's got to smell great. It does smell great. You get the fresh rosemary. The you rosemary, smell some of the citrus. The bacon. And we try. Okay. So it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> now, I like the flavor. The, the rosemary simple serve is coming through, but it works. But it's too sweet for my taste. Now that's the thing is we all have different tastes, right? So it's easy enough. I good I out. would go. I would use half the amount. So oh really? So you get I, on that much? Yeah, because I because I just don't care for like a really sweet drink. Now I know people that like it this sweet. So if you like a sweet cocktail, like a wine cocktail, then put it put in the full ounce. But oh, let me just do one more. The other thing you could use, you could add more lemon, but um. But I do like the rosemary because hmm. rosemary is a savory herb, it's but it's I think it works with the lemon and rosemary and lemon are always a good combination in reminds cooking. Me of your turkey, turkey dinner. Thank you. That would be good to drink while I'm cooking turkey dinner. Oh, it's actually... But you mean it is good, but it's, it's sweet. Good. But it's sweet. Wouldn't you agree or it's, do you it's not a agree? Little, yeah, no, it's a little too sweet. It's a little but, too sweet because that's what I... Don't... I I don't know if I'd go a half. I think okay. I'd maybe go two thirds, three quarters. But I'd but... rather go half and then I could always add a little more. Correct. You know yeah, what I mean? Could, That's yeah. what I you're figure. Right. You're right. That's um, probably smart. And I will say the only reason I would reduce the simple That's, syrup it's also, tasty. it's tasty, but the reason I reduce it is that the first thing I felt when I took my first sip was sweet. Right. Like I didn't want my first thing to be sweet. I wanted it to be rosemary or some right. bubbles or yeah. even a little citrus. So. But it's, it's pretty good though. But it is good. And, and because of the rosemary, it gives it this autumnal like feeling about it, which yes. I think is really kind of cool. 
And how easy is it? Because really the only thing, if you were doing this for a cocktail party or Thanksgiving, um, it'd be something festive for Thanksgiving. And then you have your rosemary for your turkey. Now, not everyone does that. I put rosemary and thyme under the skin, under the skin. of the turkey when it's baking. And it gives awesome. the meat such amazing flavor. We've done that for years. Well, I said we, like, like we did it. Um, I, I cut the turkey. I said, I've done that for years, so. Yes, you are the turkey cutter. But yeah, I do think it's good. I just would play around with the sweetness. I probably would let people decide how much it's, they want to It's smart choose. where you said to go half and then, and then you could always add more. kind of go up if you yeah. need to. I, and, I think it would probably be a little bit more than half for me. Okay. And don't you think it depends on whatever sparkling wine you're using also? Sure. If you're, I mean, because champagne's probably more... Dry, even drier. Yeah, drier. Yeah, so yeah I think maybe, so. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, I will say, I love a pretty cocktail. I love a wine cocktail. I love wine, as, as we all know. So this, I thought, was something different. I love I love getting new recipes. Yeah. I was very excited. Um, I, In fact, I'm not sure if I have any more, because there was a certain link that gave a lot of different wine cocktails, which is where we've gotten a lot of our uh, drinks lately, because I, they just all look so good, so we thought we'd try them. And I will share the link. If not, um, if I don't have any cocktails left, then I'll just share it maybe on Twitter or I'll put it maybe at the end of any of the places where we had these cocktails. The, the bigger link, the bigger link that has more of these wine cocktail recipes. There you go. So, yeah, it was like kind of someone had, had gathered a bunch of good ones and put them together, and I just was fascinated. <laughs> you know, it doesn't take much. For me to get fascinated. Okay. So coming up, um, I'm still waiting for the right, the right uh, weather for my grandma's Anna's cookies. I can't say the German name of them that I discovered. And if if you all are interested, if you're watching and you're not on Twitter, I did a thread about it, uh, about the experience of the humidity <laughs> that. Um, and yeah, that tabled right. my making of the cookies, but those are to come. I'm really waiting for the perfect time. It's going to be a video anyway. It wouldn't be a live stream because I don't want you to hang around for 10 hours while we're letting them cure. But the bottom line is the humidity has to be it below It has to be below 50%. 50%. And frankly, I don't want to do it when it's in the 40s. Like, I want to make sure that humidity is is like decent, like, yeah, you know, right, because it, right. can, it can affect how the cookies turn out. Um, and then, so that's just to come. And so you'll just have to wait and see when I drop it, uh, when I drop the video and get that made. But I have not forgotten about it. I cannot wait to do it. Um, what are you doing next week? So, well, this weekend. It's one of your favorite soups. Let's see if you can guess. What's one of your favorite soups I make? It's not a recipe I created, but it's one of, one a chef I like her recipe, so. Sorry. Remember we got corn at the farmer's market last weekend? so I could cut it off and freeze it for the recipe in case, yeah, because we don't that? know when the corn's gonna end. And I'm like, we've got to get Jersey corn for this recipe. So I, cause I don't, I didn't want to go there this weekend before the stream and they're like, no, corn's done. So, so, so yeah. So what are you doing that stream? What time? Uh, I don't know, cause I got five when the Eagles play. So are stay you doing tuned. Sunday? Sunday, yeah. Okay. So you gotta let me know when the Eagles play. I think I put like five o'clock, but sure a lot of that I depends play. upon. Yeah, I think there, I think it's one, yeah. I think it's a one o'clock game. So if it's a one o'clock game, I'll be at five o'clock. Okay. You don't know the soup. I gave you I a big hint, corn. I know, corn, okay. it's the corn, I know. It's a curried I, shrimp curry, yeah, yeah. and corn chowder by Katie Lee Beagle. Um, as he knows, I have a religious watching of the kitchen every weekend. I get the biggest kick out of the chefs and I love their play banter. off each other, their banter. And I come across with some great recipes. And what I love is that the chefs are very diverse um, they're all very different in their styles and like what their go-tos are. So who made so, that? So um, that was Katie Lee, okay. the Miami alum. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so um, we love this recipe. I usually veg it up, add more vegetables. So I'm just going to see what I'm going to add in addition to the regular recipe. Um, and that's Sunday at, should be like five. If you think the Eagles are playing at one, then I, we'll be at five. I think they're playing at, yeah, I think. I, we'll, we'll look. I can yeah. look and what's exciting is soup season is upon us. Like it's, it was in the 80s today, so I'm still not making soup. It doesn't mean like when the weather's warm, everyone stops making soup, but I just, I don't crave soup like I do when the temperatures turn. But Friday is gonna be, high is gonna be in the 60s. I'm so excited. 
So, and it'll just be in the 70s the weekend, so I, I can handle some soup when it's in the 70s. And I like this soup because this soup is great all year long, but I feel like it's, you know, some soups and stews are really heavy, and they're really, when, you, when it's really cold outside, that's when you're craving it. But this is a kind of soup that I really could crave at any time of the year, because it really, I think, works any time. One o'clock. One o'clock. So five o'clock will be the stream. We'll be what about next week? Is there anything next? So next, I'm not going to be here. Yeah, so we're going to miss Hubs next week um, because he just has a lot going on. But um, I'm going to see Traveling. if the little one that recently flew the coop um, can come and do the uh, try or buy, the Philly Review try or buy. So we are going to be doing Pizza Plus. Although if it's going to be the little one, I might switch that and do Pizza Plus later. Because he, because he, well, he would like that, but so would you. But remember, there's that, there's that mac and cheese place that makes other oh, yeah, versions. So anyway, so stay tuned. It might be Pizza Plus. It might be a different place because since it'd be my son, he just there's certain ones I know he's gonna roll his eyes with if I if I do. Whereas uh, the son would be really excited. So yeah. So next week is a try or buy, um, and so no no drinking next week. Just just eating. So good luck. Yes, thank you. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Um, I hope hopefully this past weekend, if you're a football watcher, went well with whatever teams you're rooting for because I it kind of kicked off the season. I was at the game on Monday. Yep. The Eagles game. And you enjoyed it. And they yes. won, which of course made it a great thing. Yes. But okay. um, whatever's in your hand that you're drinking, cheers to you. And until we drink cheers. again and until we eat again, have cheers. a great week. Thank you, everyone. And have some more bacon. <laughs> some bacon. I'll give you some bacon. <laughs> <laughs>